Scorpio. Hello, my loves, and welcome back to the channel. Supreme gratitude for your love and support. We are going to tap into your weekly energy reading, okay, um, for the collective of Scorpio. You can have Scorpio in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or North Node. Um, make sure you hit the like button, drop a comment below, and hit the subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell to all so you can be notified when I upload a video, okay? Let's go. Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Node. What's happening for you this week? Have eight of cups <clears throat> you have the chariot you have the five of pentacles and you have the two of swords okay at the bottom of the deck you also have crown chakra this this plays a significant role because it's talking about your your thought process how are you grounding yourself? How are you? Is your head right? Right? You are determined to move forward with something. You are determined to have success and have a victory. Right? You're determined to triumph over something. And you got to clear your crown chakra. Okay? Do the work that's needed. You can go on YouTube and listen to crown chakra uh, clean, uh, clearing music. Put it, in your, put it in your AirPod as you go throughout your day. Okay, and just listen, put it on when you're meditating, put it on, just, just put it on and leave it on, put it on repeat. All right. So you're determined for something Scorpio, but you gotta, you know, you gotta balance out your crown chakra. Okay. I feel like with the eight of cups here. Okay. You're, you're redrawing from something. You're walking away from something emotionally. You know what it is that you have to do. And it's something that has to be left behind. Let's clarify the eight of cups. I say. <laughs> that landed on the fire you could be dealing with the fire sign okay but something here you're, you're feeling as though you were betrayed you're feeling as though yeah there you go king of cups at the bottom of the deck you're absolute energy right you're redrawn you're, you're emotionally redrawn from something because you can no longer put your all into something you feel betrayed you feel lost you feel as though you've tried a lot but you can't do it anymore and the only thing that is going to vindicate you is your, your justice is coming from you walking away from this right you know um like your revenge you know and not even that you're being um you know uh, vengeful but it's like, you know what, the best thing for me to do is just completely walk away and no longer invest my time, my energy, and my emotions into a situation, right? This is something like, like, you know, Scorpio, you are the karma creator, right? Scorpio, you are one like, listen, when you pull your emotions and your love back from someone, they feel it, right? But this is going to go in your favor. Whatever happened here, however you may have felt betrayed, however you may have felt backstabbed, whatever it is that you have felt within this particular situation, this person is really, really, really like, you know what? Let's make it happen. Let's clarify the chariot. Okay. I feel like you're determined to move past this moment, though. Like you're in an energy, you, maybe lately you've been in an energy of not feeling yourself, not not being emotionally fulfilled, not <clears throat> not being the loving you that you've been, and it's throwing you off of your A game. It's throwing you off of your rocker. Yeah, I feel like you're stepping into your godly self. You're cutting all ties with something and you're moving forward. I feel like you've been very stagnant. You've thought on this situation for a long time and now you're done with that energy of habit feeling stagnant. It's like you had so much patience with this person, but you were continuously working on yourself and like, listen, when I get to this point, if they're not there, I'm gone. If they're not ready, I'm gone. What I won't do is continue to repeat cycles. What I won't do is stay in this energy. And now you're there. You're determined to move forward. Now let's clarify the five of pinnacles, I say. Now you could have some type of work business with this person. 
You got the chariot here twice, confirmation. You could have some type of work business with this person, right? And you may not want to take a loss on that. You may want to work with this person, you know, but you don't, you, you want to remove all types of dealings with this person. You know what I'm saying? Trust your, trust your intuition. All right. High priestess is here. Someone could be very spiritual. Someone could be intuitive. If you, even if you haven't tapped into your spiritual gifts, you know that you got it. Okay. Well, this person could be um, a spiritualist. This person could do uh, some type of spiritual work. Okay. You, there's someone that does spiritual work that you want to offer an apology to or, or mend the fences with, you know, to be able to go forward. Some of you guys are thinking like, okay, I know that I'm going to possibly suffer, uh, suffer a loss in finances if you were doing business with someone. Some of you guys are going to get a tarot reading in reference to this or going to speak with someone because you want to move forward and you want to see how to move forward, how that's going to feel. Let's clarify the two of swords, okay? Yeah, so five of pentacles here, twice confirmation. I feel like you worked very hard at something. You had a lot of patience. You put in a lot of time <clears throat> in something. And you're going to have to lose something. Like maybe you're losing half. All right. This is like a business partner. All right. Like this person, you, you work well with them and you consider them to be family, but you're just not happy with the situation. But have patience. Okay. Have patience. You are redrawing emotionally. You're going through this cycle with this person and you're doing what needs to be done for self. The, the, the thing that's making you think is that you don't want to lose the money. You've worked too hard to take a loss. But I, I assure you that anything that you lose is going to come back around. You will not you you will not be punished for this, right? Yeah. Like you are you are eliminating conflict, you're eliminating confusion, you're eliminating a lot of things. So it may seem like a setback, but it's not. It's like a minor setback for a major comeback, you know that saying? You have to make the right decision. There's no forward movement with this particular situation. You could be dealing with the fire sign. Again, as I said, there it goes. Queen of Wands here. Aries Leo Sagittarius. You're not even looking at this person as an option anymore or where you want to go. <clears throat> Some of you guys could be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. But I feel like you do business with this person. And you want to keep it to the business, but like this person may have implemented themselves in your life to where, um, hmm. this person has implemented themselves in your life to where they're like, oh yeah, I know they need me. No, you gotta, you gotta stand on your own Scorpio. Right? Energy is fluid. Reverse the roles as need be. But you got to stand on your own. This is your reading. So I'm going to talk to you. You can't sit in an energy where you're feeling like you got to have somebody or somebody's bringing this, somebody's bringing that. Scorpio, you 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 slick with it. So you already know what to do. You're not going to make, you're not going to keep all of someone else's connections. You're going to go out there and do what you need to do. If you got to change courses, then change courses. Message for folks. Scorpio. Yep. Finding life purpose came out. So whatever you're doing with this person could have rendered you something, <clears throat> but it may not be your life purpose. It may not be where you're supposed to go. It may not be what it is that you're supposed to be doing. And you're feeling like, man, I don't want to miss this. I don't want to miss that. But you're not missing anything. You're actually aligning yourself with where you're supposed to be. Something significant about Halloween, so it could be like around the end of the month, there's going to be a change here. There's going to be something that's happening here. I mean, some very good, some very, very good cards that came out of here. You got to stand on your own two feet and you got to know. Yeah, there you go. Life purpose. So, so something that you could be involved in with someone 
And you may feel like, man, you're going to lose money. Or you're not going to get money the same way. Or you're not going to be on this. Or you're not going to be on that. If you walk away from this, but you need to walk away from it because you're finding your own life purpose. You're finding what it is. Anything that you're doing that you need somebody else, that's not a part of your life purpose. Now, having a team, yeah, cool. But your life's purpose, okay, this is this is what we, we miss. Your life's purpose is not conducive with anyone else. And wh whoever you need will be placed in your life to get you there, but you are the bulk of this, th th this energy. Um, you're missing a major piece of the puzzle and that's what you're missing. You feel as though you need this person and you don't. So you need to make a decision. You had a fork in the road. Yep. Two, uh, two of, um, two of swords, mental conflict, right? In, in your head, in this energy, like, what do I do? You need to make a decision. So how do you do that? By taking a moment to reflect, doing some self-reflection. What is my life purpose? What is it that I like to do? What is it that I'm doing that I can do solely by myself? It may, it, I may have to put more work in it, but what is it that I could do, okay? Performer. Some of you guys are in the entertainment industry, okay? In some type of way. Maybe it's a, you know, if if you are a comedian, right? Hey, you got plenty of people that, that that's, that's gun ho and that's sheep on social media. Start just putting your shit up on social media. You don't need this person to help you. You're going to you're gonna attract the right person. You have the gift. Some of you guys are in music, okay? You know, go out and, and push the music that you need to push. Do what you need to do, right? <clears throat> Toxic family dynamic. <clears throat> Again, you had the Ten of Cups there, but you had the Sun card in reverse. So it's, 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 it's like, this is family, but you're not happy, okay? Something has come to the end of the road. You know it. I'm, I'm really feeling like you've gotten here before with this person. But yet now, you know it's at the end of the road. You know it's nothing that you can do. You know you've pressed as much as you can press. Someone is stubborn and very stuck in their ways. Okay? If you're not dealing with the Taurus, they could have Taurus highly aspected. <clears throat> but if not, like, just someone will not change. No matter how hard you try and wait. Okay, someone could be getting arrested. So be mindful. Make sure it's not you. Um, wrong way. The direction that you were moving in was the wrong way. Make a U-turn. Yeah. So don't, don't feel like you're taking a loss and going the streets to do something that's going to put you in a situation. Um, don't feel mad, upset, angry, you know, like feeling like you got to go back and forth. Mm -mm. Let go, whatever you need to let go and move forward. Yeah. Um, things are becoming too much to bear. Breaking point, a codependent relationship is present. So someone could be very codependent on you and what you bring to the table and what you have. And therefore they're not, th th this is, this is what, uh, they're doing or you could be codependent on them if you guys are doing business together you're codependent on them all right someone is lying all right so be mindful of that in black magic someone has been using dark magic okay so if someone has <clears throat> been trying to keep you someone has been trying to keep you close to them near to them in their energy um that's how they've been doing it that's why you've been stuck and it's it's wearing off um, for the people that, I mean, you have people that are of different, different backgrounds and different, um, <laughs> different backgrounds and different entities and things like that. But, um, they have different beliefs on that. Okay. One thing I can tell you is you do not know who you messing with. Uh, you, you don't know, you don't know who you messing with. You don't know their protection. You don't know their guidance. You could send something to somebody and they, 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 they got way more rank than whoever's sending it in, 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 in the heavens. And they don't even lift the finger and they, and, and, and whoever sent it life is upside down. They don't even lift the finger. So if someone's sending black magic to you, don't worry about it. You know, I, I just, I don't, I don't feel like it's, 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 it's worth anything. Okay. If you would like a personal reading, please click, click the description box below. You can go to my website to get a personal reading. Supreme gratitude for your love and support. Scorpio, I share.